Hello fellow aviators, VRF Simmer here, welcome to leg 39 of the world tour between El Fuerte and the Mexican state of Sinaloa. We'll be flying to the west today to Los Moches, out by the coast of and in the Gulf of California. So we'll go ahead and hop inside the aircraft, have everything ready to go. Uh, we'll get everything fired up now using our checklist. I will be flying in VR today using the HP Reverb G2. And if this is your first time joining while I'm using this, let me say this is an incredible headset. So first thing, uh, parking brake, set aircraft documents are checked, ignition is set to off, the avionics switches are off, battery master switch on, fuel quantity indicators are showing full, low fuel enunciators are off, avionics switches to on, we'll just check for the fan. I hear it, so I'll turn the avionics switches back off. Static pressure alternate source valve is off. Enunciator panel. Let's go ahead and test those. Everything looks good. Fuel selectors on both. Fuel shutoff valve is open. Flaps. Set those down. Pitot heat. Let's check that on really quickly. The switch is right there. We're looking for a bump in the ammeter, and we got it. Let's turn that back off. Battery switch off and elevator trim. Set that to neutral. All right, four star engine check. First off, uh, we'll just look outside the aircraft. And looks like I have us parked right next to this fuel tank. We'll make a right hand turn out though. And the wind is relatively calm, so. We'll, uh, I think the wind is prevailing out of the east. So we'll, ta we'll taxi to the end of the runway down there to the right. We'll take off on uh, runway 10, more than likely. All right, so pre flight inspections complete, seats and belts suggested and locked electrical equipment off, avionics switch off, fuel selector on both, fuel shut off valve open. Time to start the engine. Throttle open one quarter of an inch. Mixture idle cutoff. This is not right. Yep, there it goes. Propeller already clear. Battery master switch on. Beacon on. Mixture to rich. Fuel pump on three to five seconds. One, two, three. There we go. And then off, mixture lean, and feet on the brakes, ignition to start. So here we go. And a good start, we'll adjust the throttle back to 1,000 1, RPM. That's good, alternator's on. Oil temperature, oil pressure's good. Ammeter showing the uh, battery being charged, no lights on the enunciator panel, and let's run, let's look at all that stuff on the after starting flaps, we'll go ahead and get those set to up, the switch switches to on, transponder to standby, heading indicator is set, 240, it matches the magnetic compass, altimeter is set, 3009, and um, Add to indicator is set. So everything's good. And the taxi check will uh, check some of the other items on our way out. Alright, so for now let's uh, set our COM1 radio 122.8. decimal Common traffic advisory. We are on bat sim today, flying out of El Fuerte, and let's set our GPS, nav GPS to GPS. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna take a turn out to the right. And there's just no way to really avoid that. So, in real life, we'd push ourselves back.
El Flote Traffic, Cessna 215, Romeo Alpha. Back texting Romeo 15, El Flote. Alright, I'll turn on all our lights. And we'll do a quick run up on the go here so we're not spending a bunch of extra time on the runway. Didn't want to do a run up that close to the ramp back there. So I'm going to ride the brakes. We'll go up to 1,800 RPM. And we'll check the magnetos. Watching for the RPM drops. And everything's within limits. Vacuum gauge is good. Oil temperature and pressure good. We'll do an idle check. Check the flight controls. Make sure everything looks good. It does. Idle check is good. Idle in about 600 RPM. And we'll do a quick run through of the checklist there. Brakes were good. Heading indicators checked. Mag compass checked. Turn coordinators checked. Let me pull it up really quickly. And we'll run through this run up check really quickly. Fuel selectors on both. Autopilot. Sorry, parking brake did not required. Pop passenger seat backs most upright position. Seat belts check secured. Um, Fuel quantity indicators are checked. Mixture was rich. And we gotta do the autopilot check. Make sure it disconnects really quickly. That's good. Get the trim set for takeoff again. We already did the mag check, throttle checks, and before takeoff, flaps at zero, cabin windows closed, parking. Actually, it keeps scrolling all the way to the bottom whenever I pull this up. Sorry. Radios are set. Avionics set. Nav GPS switches on GPS. Flaps are zero. Elevator trim set for takeoff. Parking brakes released. For takeoff check complete. So we'll go ahead and announce our departure. El Forte traffic. Cessna 215. Romeo Alpha departing runway 14. We'll be departing the pattern to. The West, El Fuerte. That was really odd. Looks like our. Something happened with the trim wheel. And we're up. Sierra Madre Occidental Mountains out to the east of us there. We're flying through on the last leg through the Copper Canyon. It's a really beautiful leg. And we'll just make a left traffic departure here. can follow the river to our, here in El Fuerte um, to the west. It'll take us pretty much towards Los Moches. It's only 49 nautical miles on our leg today to Los Moches. So quite a bit shorter than the last leg from Creole here to El Fuerte. But El Fuerte, this is the place where a lot of times you might start that train ride into the Copper Canyon. All right, direct track is going to be approximately two. Heading of 202. 
I'll set that in the heading bug just so we have it as a reference. And I'm also going to set that in the course deflection indicator up here. And it's actually just slightly uh, dark. All right, there's the town of El Fuerte. El Fuerte traffic, Cessna 215, Romeo Alpha, departing the pattern to the west, El Fuerte. Continue our climb up to 4,500 for our cruise altitude today. Hey, overcast layer. Up above us, a uh, pretty high overcast layer, so we should have no trouble staying below it and remaining in visual meteorological conditions. But this will be our first time back at the coast since we were in Monterey, California, so many, many legs ago. Flying over Pebble Beach that was a golf course. That was the last time we were out over any sort of ocean. So we'll once again make visual contact with the ocean here in this leg. Yeah, I think we're starting to make out the city of Los Moches off the nose. Way out there in the distance. And just about 200 feet to level off. Yeah, so the state of Sinaloa has a uh, strong agricultural presence. It's one of the... Right somewhere, it's, it's almost like the bread basket of Mexico in a way, at least this part of Mexico. And you can definitely see the evidence of a lot of the agriculture down below us right now. With those fields 
and over half the population is under 30 years old so it's a relatively young region of Mexico also and it looks like we're just now starting to make out the Gulf of California off the right wing out there and somewhere way out to the west across the water is this part of the Baja Peninsula typically a lot of whales in this area off these waters on these waters but I don't know that we'll see them here in the simulator Looks like it's raining back behind us to the east. Air's nice and smooth today. That's one plus side to this. Definitely not running into many issues with the weather. Let's see if uh, Want to check out see what frequencies they did have there. Yeah, no automated weather at Los Mochis International. Go ahead and make a call since we're 50 out and it's controlled field. Los Mochis International traffic Cessna 215 Romeo Alpha 38 miles 38 miles to the east inbound to land runway niner. Los Mochis International.
And one other random fact I was able to read about this area, apparently they grow a lot of mangoes in this area. So, looking for some fresh mangoes. This part of Sinaloa is a, really a pretty good place to look, and along with tomatoes. It's a prime area for uh, tomatoes to be grown.
All right, you can see there's definitely uh, quite a few settlements here along the way and uh, drying out off and on. Still pretty mountainous in this area, but definitely intermixed with some plains. Visibility has gone downhill quite a bit. We do have a volcanic ash advisory out in all of Mexico right now. There was a volcano that erupted down to the southeast of Mexico City just a few days ago. So there's a chance of volcanic ash from the surface up to 20,000, flight level 200 all throughout the country of Mexico here today. But I do not see any volcanic ash where we are currently flying at this altitude, so I think we're good. But apparently it was a pretty large eruption. Lava and ash up to 9,800 feet in the air. And from here, when the river takes a sharp turn to the north, we're going to be breaking off and heading straight for the city of Los Mochas, which I do see off the nose now. And then the airport's going to be about 10 nautical miles beyond that. And it looks like we're going to have visual conditions all the way to the airport today, which is a good thing. So there's an airport down or a pista down below us there. Like Mike Bravo November. Pattern altitude here is going to be 1,100 feet. So we'll, we'll keep going, cruising at 4,500 till we get over Los Mulches, and then I'll begin our descent uh, just before we get to Midtown.
That's a beautiful shot up to the north there. I'm still looking to make out exactly where the airport is. Don't see it yet. It's somewhere beyond town. Closer to the Gulf of California. Which we can clearly see out there now. And we'll be flying along the Gulf until it becomes the Pacific Ocean these next few legs Los Mochis traffic Cessna 215 runway Alpha 15 miles east inbound to land runway 9 any traffic in the area please advise Los Mochis International As you can see, Los Mulch is a pretty decent sized city. One of the larger cities we've flown over uh, really since Ciudad Juarez. Back when we first entered Mexico a few legs back. Set the heading bug to our runway heading, which will be around 09 or 0. When we come into the airport. And I'll begin our descent. Turn on our landing and taxi lights. Strobe lights are on. You know, just for curiosity's sake, I'll look here on the traffic control and. And here's the city of Los Mochis.
Alright, and we're making our way now to the airport, which is somewhere out here in the country. Toward the Gulf of California. Yeah, I believe I have the airport in sight now. Just off the nose, making out the terminal building. Los Mochis traffic, Cessna 215, running off of 5 miles east. Inbound to enter left down on runway 9er. Los Mochis International. Yes, the airport is quite a ways from the center of town. And it looks like there's a little little community, a little town out here just to the west of the airport. Los Mochis International Traffic, Cessna 215, Romeo Alpha, entering left downwind, runway 9er, Los Mochis International. It looks like it's getting pretty sandy out in this area. And yeah, we'll start slowing us back here on the airspeed. And we're within the wide arc, so we can lower the flaps. Flaps 10. And we're pretty wide, so I'll go ahead and start our base turn. Los Mochis International Traffic, Cessna 215, Romeo Alpha, left base, runway 9er. Los Mochis International. Don't see anybody on final. Let's go flaps 20. Los Mochis International, Cessna 215, Romeo Alpha, turning final runway 9er, Los Mochis International.
lives full. Gas under carriage, mixture props, he puts fuels on both, we're good. And we're clear to land, uncontrolled at the moment. Oops, bounce. And we'll make a left turn right up here. Los Mochis International Traffic, Cessna 215, Romeo Alpha, clear runway 9 -er, taxiing to the General Aviation Ramp, Los Mochis International. Alright, landing light off, strobe off. This is an interesting area. It's kind of got some little sandy hills out there just to the north and some mountains out in the bay. To the southeast, so really cool. Alright, General Aviation Parking will be over here to the uh, up ahead. So we'll taxi over there onto the west end of the ramp. Go ahead and take our transponder to standby. And I'll park us over here to the left. And we'll get refueled for our next leg. Alright, we'll stop it right here. Parking brake is set. Taxi now lights off. Go ahead and turn off the transponder and get the avionics off. Mag check is now complete. And make sure it'll cut off. Beacon off. Battery master 
and alternator switch off. Let's just run through a quick check here on the checklist. Make sure we got everything before we hop out. Grab a little something to eat here. So for our after landing check, flaps are up. Landing light off. Taxi light off. Strobe off. Elevator trim. It's reset to neutral. Transponder was on standby. For the parking check, parking brake set, transponder off, AMAX switches, they are off. Um, give me one second here. Okay. <laughs> it's doing the, uh, well, that's cool that it does that. Parking brake set, transponder off, AMAX switches off, engine idle check complete, mag check complete, and uh, mixture idle cutoff, securing check, nav lights off, ignition off, landing light off, taxi light off, alternator off, battery switch off, fuel selector, let's put down the left side, or right side actually, and close the fuel shut off valve, securing checks complete. Alright, well welcome to Los Moches, we are back on the coast now, we'll be headed down the coast to the south in the next leg, here in Mexico, in the state of Sinaloa. Thanks for joining me, VRF Simmer, here on leg 39, and look forward to seeing you again in the air soon.